Hey, uh, your viewers and viewers, this is my name is General Red Strategist, and welcome back to some more tabs. As promised, we're going to be looking at some player made custom maps actually for a change. So, um, last episode, I actually made a map of my own. I was recording this episode straight after the last one because uh, I can't wait for it. So, I'm going to go to custom content and we'll get straight in. I've already downloaded quite a few actually. So, some real interesting ones by the looks of it. People have been really creative. So, I've just downloaded a selection uh, that you can potentially look at. For this one, I want to start off by looking at a large Greek city Santorini final. <laughs> Let's see uh, what this one looks like. I've forgotten actually who the map maker of this one is, but um, it looks... Whoa. Well, we got uh, fireworks going off on that tower. Holy shit. Okay, well, this puts my Caribbean Crossroads map to shame. Not going to lie. So how have they made this? I think they've kind of like created, by the looks of it, a base just on top of the... Um, well, sort of on top of the water. They probably use like, lots of square pieces, I would imagine. Wow. Okay, not going to lie. I feel very envious. That is an incredible creation. I mean, look at this. Oh my god, is that supposed to be a windmill? Holy crap. They actually created a windmill using ladders, by the looks of it. Ladders and things? Benches? I'm not sure. God, that's so amazing. Look at this. Just look how good this fucking is. So... Oh, there's the red and blue line. God, we're going to have a battle in the streets of Santorini, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit. Sorry, I'm just I'm just admiring how gorgeous this map is. It's very busy. There's a lot of stuff, but holy crap. It is really, really good. I just like, look at these little, like, little alleyways and courtyards. They even put like little busts and statues and pots in the courtyards and stuff. It's so freaking well put together, this. Incredible. All right, so... We're going to do a red versus blue battle, ladies and gentlemen. Should we start off maybe by playing with some uh, flipping uh, units, some ancient units and all that? Because we're in Greece and all that, you know? Alright, let's get some uh, basic shield bearers up front here. Uh, seven of them like that, maybe? Yeah. And line them up with seven of these guys straight behind them. There we go, 14 units. Get some hot lights coming up uh, behind those guys. Yeah, like that. And maybe some snake archers towards the back. Here we go. Uh, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. Holy moly. Maybe what we want to do then is um, get them up against something more interesting. Let's have some secret assassins who've uh, turned up in the city. Holy shit. Where shall I put them? <laughs> put one there. It's the assassin hunt, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it is. There's blue assassins on the prowl. And the red freaking ancient squad has got to try and find them, ladies and gentlemen. Try and get roughly the right sort of equivalent of points. Like, uh, like this, maybe. Let's do it. Let's see if the red squad can defend the city against the evil assassins. <laughs> Here we come. Okay, they are obviously going to split their force immediately. Some weird noises. Whoa. Are we firing already? Okay, the ninjas are coming in. The shields. Oh, wow. That guy just got instantly eviscerated, but... Okay. Yeah, I think they got this. I think it's all lure them from the sides. Maybe that'll work a bit better. Who's around this way? Oh, God. The ninjas are coming through from this angle. That's not good. They're actually not bad at dealing with uh, the snakes, are they? The old ninjas. But luckily, those hot lights with their shields are actually pretty damn powerful. Oh. Okay. God. It's the stand of the one single ninja. Oh my god, is he a Okay, I thought he was actually going to hold off that whole army. Damn, son. That was pretty damn intense, that was. Good lord. Friggin' amazing. Look at this friggin' heroic squad. Over here, they did their best. They held off the enemy. Wow, you just got your spear on that guy's shoulder, have you? <laughs> nice. That is fantastic. That was so good. And you know, these uh, poor old ninja assassins... Just didn't know what hit them and all that. God, I really just love the scenery. It's so freaking well done. Okay, come on. We've got to get a bigger battle going on here. Surely. Um, God, that freaking firework effect, though. <laughs> Jeez. Look at this. You get, like, a sweeping shot down of the town, like so. Nice. That is amazing. Uh, right, right, right. What about uh, the big battle of the giants or something? Let's, um, let's see now. What shall we get? Shall we get samurai... an ice giant or a tree giant? Maybe. Big old tree giant has marched in. God, he's actually not that big in comparison to a lot of the buildings, is he? Uh, well, maybe let's put um, three or four of them in. 
four tree giants, and now we just need to create a massive army with which to defend the city. Maybe we need some uh, Gatling guns, maybe, like that. Uh, what else can we get in there? Do you think uh, we need some muskets or something as well? I think we need muskets too, just to help protect protect this beautiful city here from whatever is awaiting it. We need probably some heavy hitters, don't we? Uh, maybe get a couple of ninjas, actually, along the side. Or the sides, rather. There, like that. Okay, they can be headed up by the Monkey King. God, need a uh, friggin' 6,000 points of other stuff here. What shall we get them? Uh, samurai. Maybe some Renaissance halberds to back up the old monkey dude. Like that, maybe? Yeah, get them in there. And then just get an army of fencers in. Yeah, they'll do. Maybe some squires as well for backup. And then just an absolute fucking mass of halflings. Wait, I've gone too high. What am I doing? That's way too many halflings. Bollocks. Just uh, sort them out. There we go. 16,000 versus 16,000. Four units versus 61. Let's just get a sweeping action shot here on these armies. Gosh, look at this. Here they are. The four monsters that are going to take down this kingdom. <laughs> I think they're going to get stuck, though, on this thing, aren't they? That's the only thing. Oh, well. Hopefully the Gatling guns will be able to snipe them. Here come the defenders. <laughs> the little children are being sent out first. Oh, God. And the children are being slaughtered. Okay, the halberds are having a bit of trouble with this thing. Okay, well, the Gatling guns are spooling up. Okay, actually, come to think of it, having so many ranged units might be a problem. Because the giants aren't going to be able to get to the muskets or the Gatling gun, are they? Oh, God, has he taken one of them down? I think he has. Yeah, they're a bit stuck. Oh, damn. Are you having a bit of trouble there, mate? You seem to be stuck beneath that damn thing. Okay, well, I think this is actually a foregone conclusion. <laughs> okay, yeah, maybe we need to position these a bit differently. Because, obviously, they can't really go through that archway thing there, can they? Maybe what we need to do is uh, try something a little bit different. Maybe what we need to do is put the, uh, the tree giant somewhere else, maybe. Uh, let's see. Can we put him up there on the thing? Can we get him on there? Oh, we can get him in the temple up there. Interesting. We could go there if we wanted to. Holy shit. <laughs> it's actually weirdly fun, this. God. I mean, it's a tricky one to actually place units down on because it's actually so sort of cramped up. Oh, look, there's like a ballista on there. And a cannon, interestingly. It's not very ancient, but there's another cannon up there. I guess, uh, you know, this is Santorini from a more, well, I was about to say modern era, not really modern, but from a later time, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, well, hang on. In that, uh, if that's the case, maybe we should do like a big renaissance battle, perhaps. Uh, maybe we just need lines of gunners. Can you get some gunners on here? I think it'll go on there, on that viaduct. Holy shit, they can, but <laughs> they're having a bit of trouble with it. <laughs> He's just like, the crotch shot That's exactly what you want. Yeah, they're going to have a bit of problems, aren't they? Or a few problems, rather. Interesting. Um, I don't think jousters will work very well in here, but we'll try them anyway. Alright, let's um, get the cavalry up here, first and foremost. Five jousters there. Uh, they can be backed up by an absolute fucking butt-ton of fences. We're going to need halberds as well, because we need uh, power. Uh, the musket, musket line, do we want some of them in there? We do, indeed. 18,700, not bad. Um... Maybe just get uh, some more dudes in. Um, led by a lone painter, of course. There we are. <laughs> let's make some fairly evenly matched armies here. Uh, blue, two, three, four, five. Actually, I'm not going to be able to match these perfectly unit for unit, am I? But, well, never mind. They can have extra halberds. They can have their fence line sort of up front as well, if they want. And they can just have all their musket contingent back here. Uh, we've still got plenty more space for units, haven't we? Uh, some, some, I should just get another one of those in. Oh, it's 59 units. Okay, so the blue faction is slightly smaller, but here we go. Giant fucking battle incoming. The Renaissance battle. <laughs> God, nice. Alright, well, we're going to have to slow down straight away so I can get straight into the action. Here we go. I think, actually, they're going to ch charge over some of their own units, but that's fine. Oh, God. Guns firing. Wow, I think the muskets are actually taking out their own friggin' side, but that's fine. Here we go. Hopefully the uh, halberds aren't going to have trouble with the friggin'... Yeah, they are. Never mind. Oh, well. Depends who gets closer first. Oh, God. 
It's freaking musket wars now. Oh god, look at all this coming in here. Holy shit. That's pretty frightening really, isn't it? There's not what you want. Okay, the red force is sort of pushing through a bit. Okay, it is coming down towards musket wars here. Oh god. But if the fences can get in, along with the halberds, they might just be able to uh, screw them over a bit. Oh, God. Yeah, it's 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 tight. The blue faction may well, may well yet do this. That halberd here is just having so much trouble. Oh, God. I think blue faction may well have this, by the looks of it. Is it literally just this one guy over here? Oh, God. Maybe? Hang on, those guys over there are sort of... Okay, there was another enemy somewhere off in this giant pile of bodies. Wow. God, they got absolutely eviscerated, didn't they, ladies and gentlemen? That was pretty fucking terrifying. Good lord. These fucking heroes, though, look at them. They did such an amazing job. A guy up there just looking around like, oh, yes. <laughs> Indeed, I did do an amazing job, Red. You're absolutely right to point that out, aren't you, old boy? God, I really love this map, though. It's so just gorgeous to look at. Isn't it just? <laughs> That's a good potential thumbnail shot, that. I'm trying to get thumbnail shots, ladies and gentlemen, that I could potentially use. You know, maybe like that, perhaps? Or uh, this guy over here who's just looking along like, mm, that map, though, right? Am I, am I right, ladies and gentlemen? Hang on. Get, like, a better one so you can like, see the uh, domes on the, the big... Hang on, there's fucking muskets in the way. Hey, see? Like that. <laughs> or like that, maybe? Who knows? <laughs> Depends what I want for a thumbnail. There we go. Enough of that. Get those artistic shots. Right, take them out. What about a Wild West battle? Can we get some just like quick draws just scattered down throughout the level? And see, see if we can like, get them to find each other or something? Put him up there. Um, put him in there. Get one maybe in there. Uh, maybe one on the bridge. Maybe one on the dock. Uh, one perhaps. Maybe we should try and get one actually on this um, thing up here. Hang on, let's put him sort of there. In the middle, right? We've got eight thousand four hundred of those. So let's put uh, some blue guys in. That guy can go there. Where else can we put them? One in there. God, there's, there's clearly so much effort has gone into this map. Just saying, because um, it's really, really well made. I'm just saying that right now, ladies and gents. Can put you there. Uh, we'll put one more just in there. Okay. I kind of want to see if they can path along these viaduct things, though. Let me slow that down. It's the uh, attack of the freaking Wild West Quick Draws. Okay, it doesn't look like they can... Well, he's having a bit of trouble. Wait, where's he going? Nope, nope, he's just going to wander off there. Hopefully he doesn't get himself killed, but... <laughs> sure. Uh, are you having a bit of trouble there? You're kind of in the water, bud. Hope you're not going to die like that. Oh god, here they come. Is there fucking arrows? Oh, wow. I didn't realise, but the friggin... Ballista actually fires. Okay, I should be paying attention to what my Quick Draws are doing. Santorini ain't big enough for the two of us, ladies and gentlemen. Who's going to get the first shot? Blue, apparently. Okay, where are you going now? Oh, Jesus. Right, who's left? Oh, God, they're going to go into the water. That's not where they need to be. Wow, are they just dying? The Wow. They're kind of dying the moment they go in there. That's not ideal. Who's stuck? Okay. Who's going to throw themselves to their do dooms? Who are they looking for? Oh, wait. Where did that happen? Oh, you're up there. You're by the bloody ballista. Try not to get shot there, bud. Who's left? Someone is clearly still alive. Apart from you, making all your crazy noises. Where? I'm hearing him. Is he far off? Where is he? I'm listening. Oh, there's another ballista up there. Is that firing as well? How strange. Where the heck? Oh! Wait, where is that? That is... Oh, he's in the freaking far corner of the map. Of course it is. Right, I'm going to have to give him a bit of help in actually getting out of here. Right, you just come down there, mate. That's it. And, uh, Red... If you can uh, maybe just find your own way off that building without fucking turning around and going that way, that would be very, very helpful. 
You can path down these stairs. Oh, God. Oh, there we go. Right, you go that way. I think you just got to free them sometimes. And hope that they can sort of find their way around. Yeah, I think uh, with a big sort of built-up environment like this, the pathing may occasionally have a bit of trouble. Uh, there's Blue. Right, here we go. Now they're going to have their showdown in the streets of Santorini. <laughs> All right. Who's going to get the first shot, ladies and gentlemen? Place your bets. And it's going to be... Huh? Oh. That's a blue victory. Seems it's old uh, Rooster Cockburn over here got shot first. Did this guy actually die, technically, or did he dodge? Okay, they both actually died, but I guess blue just got that immediate shot off. Fantastic. There we go. God, this is such a fucking well-made map, though, isn't it? It's so good. <laughs> what would happen if I... What would happen if I put tanks in here? This is probably a real bad idea, because they're probably going to just absolutely... Their pathing probably isn't going to work, but let's just see. Yeah. Of course, they're going to get stuck, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, no, they can sort of drive... God, never mind. <laughs> they're all getting a bit stuck on each other. Yeah, that, that don't work. Damn. Who's, who's alive? we got three blue tanks. And one red. All right, well, if blue doesn't get this, then... Oh, Jesus. You're having a bit of trouble there, mate, aren't you? Oh. Yeah, they can't quite shoot each other because of the... Oh. Oh, wait. Is this red one still alive? I didn't even realise. Yeah, he's a bit stuck. He can't even turn his turret. Maybe you need to... Oh, never mind. They got it. <laughs> Tanks in Santorini, ladies and gentlemen. It actually sort of worked. <laughs> Deary me. Okay, there we go. All right, what else can we get up to? Maybe we just need freaking masses of units. Maybe we just need to create, you know, two sort of roughly equal armies in terms of points. Create some different little squads or whatever. Okay. Let's have the Dock Squad over here, led by the Wizard. Uh, he can lead a little halfling army over like this, maybe. Backed up by um, maybe some knights. A couple of these guys. It's almost like the Fellowship of the Ring, but not quite. Uh, they could do maybe with some archers as well, couldn't they? Just to support them, like so. Little little, little army coming in over here. Mm, we'll also... Actually, no, let's get rid of the archers there. Let's also have, like, a kingly squad. Uh, oh, God, just get rid of the fucking tanks as well. We don't want them. Uh, let's have the kingly squad sort of up here. So he's um, going to have a couple of knights as well, like this. We'll also give him... A trusty couple of Jarls who've sailed down from the high north. Some brawlers to mech him up. I think that's good. I think that's good. Um, with some... Oh, shit. Let's put an extra brawler. A couple of halberds, I think, um, will also be very much desirable. Now, that's the heavy hitter squad over there. They're coming in from that angle. Get it reinforced by uh, the wizard and his crew. Then, what else? Do you want a little force like up in this temple up here? I think we do, if we can get him in there. Who should be the leader of this one? Um, maybe I'll quick draw can come in. And he can come in with um, a couple of snipers. And maybe then his trusty gunslinger squad as well. Uh, what do you think? Hold on, if I can get him in. Now, hoping these guys don't just path off to their doom or something. All right, that's the uh, Wild West faction up there. Um... Maybe also they can be backed up with a couple of pirates, because they got guns too. Yeah, a couple of flintlocks, perhaps. Just to do some extra damage. A couple of friggin' blunderbusses as well, since they ain't really got shotguns. I think we'll get a grenadier squad in somewhere. Maybe sort of like, uh... Hmm, where should they go? Or maybe what we need is just a big-ass grenade squad up here, just to chuck some bombs down and cause some immediate chaos. Um... They can be sort of led by the old pirate queen. She can be back there uh, with her trusty ninjas along the sides. I'm just making, uh, you know, a crazy army here, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, something from the legacy, maybe? Oh, yeah, definitely got to have some boxers in there. Because why the hell not? Like that. Um, what else can they have? They haven't really got any, like, fast attack units, have they? That's the only thing. Um, maybe what they could do with is uh, a chariot or two. God knows how that'll act in these streets, but we'll see. Uh, now, three, five... Uh, let's just get their units up to friggin', um 70 units if we can. 
Maybe they also could have a hot R for some artillery. Do you think? Yeah, that's quite an army there. All right, what else can we put in uh, on the blue side this time? Let's get to some righteous paladins in to do some heavy damage. I think they'll be uh, good. They can be led by the old Chronomancer, who gets in there with his uh, sacred elephants up front. There we go. God, it's already 15,000 points. Good lord. Um... They can have... What can they have? They can have, like, an army of, uh... Sarissas up front as well, to do some big poking. Yeah. With maybe, like, a mass of shields in front for protection, do you think? So that's their initial force over there, and that's probably going to be a fairly big one. Um... Now what? Now what? Now what? Uh, they could have, like, a little flanking army of some spooky boys coming in down here, couldn't they? Some Tempest Licks, likes. Led by the Reaper? Yeah, he can go in there. Um, with maybe, you know, a couple of trusty sword casters in the background. Uh, what else can they have? Uh, just to beef them up a bit. Maybe they could have uh, some musketeers as well. Not quite the three musketeers, but the five musketeers. <laughs> nice. Actually, maybe I should try the Da Vinci tanks on these levels as well. Um, and you know what? They can have uh, some fences as well, just to sort of back them up along the edges like that. There's a flanking force down there. Um... God, what else do we want? Problem is, sometimes putting units near the canals can always be a bit of a tricksy one, because they end up sort of falling to their doom and whatever else have you. Uh, 49 units on the um, blue side of things. Maybe we've got some uh, sneaky taekwondo assassins down in the uh, alley over here, along with their... Oh, God. A couple of executioner pals just to help them out, do you think? Yeah, I think it's a good one. Uh, they can have some Chinese repeating crossbows as well, maybe up here, who can come in to assist. That's what I'm thinking. You see, it's a plan. Oh, well, that guy's actually on top of a tree. What am I doing? <laughs> good lord. Right. It's a bit of a weird line, that. Maybe I'll uh, replace them. Hold on. Like so. Okay. And they just need some uh, extra backup, I do think, just to help them out. Maybe some teachers, do you think, like this? Who can access protection and they can well it's actually 70 versus 70 it's quite a mix of units let's see how this goes uh, i've no idea <laughs> big mixed up battle of different waves okay let's see oh god the bombs are coming in that's probably going to destroy that front line but oh god uh, probably destroy the chariots as well jesus oh god here come the divine strikes the elephants might not be having too much have a good day here but uh you know, I've never really used Divine Arbiters, but they are quite interesting with this weird sort of attack. Oh god, Chronomancer is activated. Uh, is there anyone coming in on the sides? Where's the Dock Force got to? Oh, they're over here by the looks of it. I'm just slowing down so I can see what's going on. Um, how's the Taekwondo Brigade? Where are they at? Oh, they're just joining in over here along with the Reaper. <laughs> they're all melding together. I see the battle is joining in the centre. All right. Well, Chronomancer's doing some damage here. Damn. Bloody hell. Can the Chronomancer deal with the king? They're all coming in. The battle's joined. Who's going to win? Oh god, they really need to do something about that hot char, though, don't they? Fucking hell. The combination of Chronomancer, Chuko Nu, and Divine Arbiter is actually stopping everyone from getting through these viaducts over here. Well, there goes the uh, hot char. Oh god. I think it's just... Uh, wow, wizard. Oh, Gandalf over here has been taken out. Oh, it's, oh, God, the Wild West team. I forgot about them. Well, they're not going to do too well because they're kind of negating their strengths by coming forward. Whoa. Okay. Oh, God. Need to watch out. Well, they've taken out the uh, dudes, but, yeah, I don't think the Wild West contingent's doing too well here. But at least they're going to take out a few last ones, aren't they? Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, who have they got left? They've got some Musketeers. They've got the old Chuko Nu. Divine Arbiters coming in. Look at these weirdos with the weird hats. Uh, these guys more back, and then just old Chronomancer in the background. <laughs> did anyone else survive around here? Oh, well, the Reaper did, along with his musketeer, who's having a bit of trouble. I think old Reaper got stuck on the building, didn't he, by the looks of it? Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have put him towards the back, in the sort of back streets, because he probably then couldn't really get out, could he? Oh, dear. Well, that didn't go too well for him now, did it? <laughs> oh, well, that was fun, ladies and gentlemen. Just to have a nice big battle in the streets of Santorini. This isn't this is an awesome player made map. I really love it. It just goes to show you what you could potentially create with the map maker. 
it's absolutely awesome. So yeah, as you saw before, you know, I've downloaded a ton of other maps as well. So I'll probably be doing more videos in the near future in which I just sort of take a look at what else is actually available. So indeed, we've got to do that, ladies and gentlemen. It'll be pretty damn good because there's some really good looking ones out there. So like urban type maps like this, or the ones which have different themes. So I'm really looking forward to it. I think the map creator will open up a whole new load of, uh, a whole new round of tabs content here on the channel. So I hope you enjoyed, and I uh, hope you'll join me for some more in due course. Facebook and the links down below, along with a link to my propaganda channel for anyone interested. And if you enjoyed, a like is of course always appreciated. More than that, this is General Red signing off. Goodbye all. Sure, I'll steal that. Oh, nice, nice friggin' uh, big Master Bus man. Huh? I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Right, we're gonna have to kill up. Oh. Oh, it's my house now, I guess. <laughs> nice. Alright, allow me to uh, just go upstairs to my new bed. Hello. Oh, oh. Spare room, I guess. Oh, look at this. These sweet digs. Oh, you got the one in there. Uh. Nope, 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 nope. You didn't see anything. Mate, mate, please. <laughs> Shut myself in here. No! Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do something about this guy, I think. <laughs>